Hey guys, it's Fan Fantasy here. You can call me Fan, and we're back with another video of Regiments. This is my second video of Regiments. You can check out the first one, just my overall thoughts of it. And I do plan on doing a series of this. And so we're going to be doing a Warp Path campaign series. And for our stages, we'll do three for now. I want to keep it just simple for now. Maybe near the future, we'll do another longer series. But for now, we'll keep it at three. And for our country, we will start out as the Canadians as the 4th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group. And for opponents, we'll do the Southern Western Front. I know it may not be accurate of where the Canadians were at, but uh, for balance sake, we'll keep it as this for now. And for starting resource, we'll keep it as high. Unit count high as well too. And reinforcement price, we'll keep it low. And for a regiment condition, we'll keep it pristine because we just started on the war. And I know this affects the opponents as well too, but um, yeah, well, we'll just assume that this is a beginning of the Cold War turning hot. And for the advanced rules, we'll keep it at 1.0 and high lethality checked um, for realism's sake. And for difficulty, we'll keep it at medium. So looking at the page here, we have next stage in two phases, and then we have three stages left. And operational authority, we're starting out with 350 and we can order a task force of things for the fourth CMBG. We do have Lynx as a recon element, uh, Leopard C1s, two platoons of it. Um, and uh, we also have M13 infantry as our mech infantry. And we have the M13 Tuas, uh, as well as artillery, um, ADATs, which are uh, well known back then in the Canadian Army, and supply trucks. And we have uh, DPICMs as well as Rally Point. Um, we haven't spent anything on our task force yet, but looking at this here, our operation is called Amber Force. So phase one of our operation, Unstable Foundations. So looking at this, there's a lore behind all of this. Basically, the ceasefire didn't last for long, and therefore we are going to war. And you can pause and read it on your own as well, too. And looking at the course of action, we can either choose to uh, proceed with the main plan or we can choose an alternate approach, which is meeting engagement. Both our forces and the enemy are trying to push an established front line, take the objectives and defeat the enemy. So I think what we'll do is we will uh, let's do d defense. So we're going to be facing off against the USSR. Um, but yeah, that's I don't know, man, the, uh, the Soviets are, are going to be tough against us. So we're going to probably spend on a task force. So looking at the task force roster, I think what we'll spend on is probably an anti-tank task force uh, because we are going to be facing against the Soviets. So I'll probably get these guys and looking at the right here. Once we upgrade to level two, we can get another Tua and uh, as well as uh, CF-18 two times bombs. Um, artillery would be nice as well, too. Uh, this is the American um, attachment here but i think for now we need an anti-tank task force so we're going to spend on that and this this is a defense operation uh, i think signal intelligence would be nice so we'll spend one uh, maybe one more and then we'll spend more on deployment points as well as one on tactical support and let's uh yeah proceed with the main plan of defending and going to the events you can see right here uh, let's see. So there's one red debuff right here. So minus 30% depression resistance. Platoons may retreat on their own. And I don't know if we need that right now. Maybe we can... Uh, um, I think no special events, you know, would be good. So let's do that. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to place some engineer supports. So let's put up our M113 toes. And let's put it one about right here. I think this might be a good kill zone. Yeah, we'll put one on hotel and we'll put another anti-tank emplacement uh, tow launcher around golf. I think there is uh, infantry right there. It's the uh, leopard. We also have leopards defending here too, but we'll put one uh, right here. This should be a good effective spot and we'll confirm our deployment. We can't really place them on the spots right now, but we can deploy them. So let's deploy our links and we'll get a links to spot units on the south so maybe i'll put them uh, right here for now and we'll also bring our leopards um along the street line here this street line will be used as an ambush 
So let's deploy our leopards here. And I'm going to place the M13 Tulas along the tree line areas. They are very vulnerable, so therefore we can't really put them up front. And we'll place one. We'll place some in India as well, too. And ADATs. Those, those are going to be useful against uh, enemy air. And we'll place it in Kilo. As for the infantry, I think it's best to place them in city areas. So Kilo would be, be a good idea as well. We'll place one more platoon on Kilo. And let's deploy the M109s because we do need artillery. And I think, I think that's good for now. All right, so we're good to go and we'll unpause and look at our units going into the front lines. Man, I really love the M109s and it's sad that the uh, Canadians got rid of them in their inventory. All right, so far no contact report yet, but uh, they are slowly making their way. Oh, Leopard C1 is under attack. It looks like it is coming from, from the, uh, oh, looks like artillery is coming down from the east. And hitting golf right now, we gotta quickly get our units to golf. There's not much we can do until we see them. What I'm gonna do is get my M109s ready to uh, counter battery. Uh, if we can actually spot them, I'm not sure if they're off map artillery or not, but they are bombarding our objectives right now. All right, looks like they are hitting India. So they're coming from the east. Uh, can't identify yet what they are. It looks like it is a mechanized platoon spotted shouldn't be a problem for our anti-tank units and they're slowly making their way all right two platoons involved okay yeah so this is why it's useful to spend on uh intelligence because you actually will know what you're getting okay so we do have Units coming from the uh, south side, getting our leopards ready to ambush. Let's get them back. Again, I wish we can actually just change their formation because right now they're like in this weird square, which is not really ideal in a fighting situation. All right, so we do see them heading Echo right now. Uh, let's get our artillery up. Oh, good job from our units holding up. Uh, however, I don't know how long we're going to be able to hold Echo. And so what we'll do is we'll get our Leopards up. And hopefully we can flank them to stop them from taking Echo. I need my Artie to start uh, pounding on them. Okay, unfortunately we lost Echo. This is not good. They're pushing into India. We need to start... Intercepting right now. And our tools should be able to see them. Looks like T64Bs moving up in the middle. Okay, not good. Yep. Yeah. Come on, let's get our leopards moving. Let's see if we can get our arties up. And let's hit them right there. Yeah, I wish we had DPI CMs right now. That would be very useful against this clutter of tank platoons. Get them to fall back so they get a little bit of cover. And now our tanks are engaging. All right, looks like one of the tanks are falling back. Ooh, I didn't know that he had that much reverse speed in a Soviet tank. <laughs> okay, so it looks like our Leopard tunes are doing a really good job. I might get him to fall back after this. He's down at two. Uh, yeah, let's get you to fall back. It's better to keep that up. And uh, yep, so far India is holding up real good. 13 minutes left. I think we can probably... Get our, get our guys to start moving up. We might need them to uh, support India right now. So I'm going to move my mech infantry up to India. 
And we did lose an M13 to one, uh, but we should be able to get him back in about 13 seconds. And our Leopard Platoon has successfully retreated, and um, once he's fully back, we'll um, call him up again. And I'm going to move, reposition my ADATs to the front, so all the way up to India. And we still have a recon unit looking at the southeast, and we did lose golf right now. Okay, so they are attacking from golf right now. So let's start moving up. There's not much I can really do. Uh, let's... Yeah, that is a mech imp. BMPs. Yeah, these guys won't last too long. Uh, I'm going to save my DPS CMs for later once we spot tanks, because right now this won't be useful. Um, but at least we know that they are coming into India. So we've got to be ready for that. Radio intercepts reports of three platoons involved. Okay, so that might be either from the east or south. I'm going to reposition my M109s so that they can uh, get a resupply next. And it's always a good practice to move them. And he's getting already too. And my M13s are on the way right now. Alright, so unfortunately they took out Golf. Uh, and they're coming towards Echo right now. Move one of our guys. I can't really see them. Oh. Yep, they are attacking Echo right now. Get our mech infantry to intercept. Uh, these guys won't last long. Might need to fall back to the hotel. Yeah, not good. Come on, keep going. Oh, they're getting arty from, uh, from this guy. Okay, at least we know there's an arty there. Might have to counter battery that. Falling counter battery, and uh, they lost one of their tanks. Keep falling, keep going. Come on, you guys got good reverse speed. It's one thing about the leopards is that they're really fast. And you can see the counter battery from behind. All right, five platoons involved. Okay, that's not good at all. And we are losing Echo right now. Uh, yep. We got more mech infantry coming up towards India. And our counter battery is responding to that area right there. Hopefully that can stop them from harassing me. All right, calling DPI CM on this area right here. I'm not going to arrest them from taking India right now. Come on, two seconds. And we should see the fireworks. Ooh, good damage. Good hit. Oh, looks like a BMP just got destroyed. Good effect on the DPSCMs. Okay, so far they have taken two of our objectives, uh, but they haven't captured any of the key ones yet. We're trying to reinforce as much as we can. And again, these are Soviets against the Canadians, so I don't know. We're definitely at a disadvantage right here. And we got some more mech infantry coming up. I'm not sure what else is next to him. And yep, Artie is... Pretty heavy right now. Get their supplies up. And it's counter battery on. I think around here. And looks like they have two helicopters. Possible Heinz moving up towards our position. And let's get these guys to fall back. Oh no. They Yep. They destroyed one of my leopard platoons. Not good. And we got Heinz. My ADATs should be able to intercept them. Come on. A BMP minus one right there. I uh, don't see any infantry. But our mortars are holding off the attack. And we are calling for reinforcements. And let's get her who was to engage against the BMPs. Let's get her guys to recapture hotel. We should be able to capture it. All right. So the M13s are moving in to recap hotel. Let's dismount the infantry at this point. And move in. And our Grizzlies are falling back. Not good, not good. Maybe we shouldn't move the two of us too forward. And yep, we got enemy helicopters. I want those ADATs to intercept. Can't hold 
All right, let's get these guys to fall back. Hey, we capped hold tell. Five minutes left. Let's see if we can hold off. And yeah, the M MI8s are still annoying the hell out of us. Come on. Get these guys to move up. I think we only got one of them, so... Come on, let's go. Yep, there you go. He's launching his rocket. Nice. Good hit. Ooh, no. Ah. Yeah, it wasn't enough. Okay, did not expect the uh, enemy air contact, but yeah, they're giving us hell right now with the Heinz. Or, yeah. So it looks like they're giving us hell with the Heinz right now. We got to get rid of them. All right, so I do see the enemy already right here with their uh, rockets. I'm going to call in my artillery. I know we lost the zone and kind of already that. Uh, we are losing India right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. All right, fall back. Yep, we're going to lose it. I'm going to call in DPI CMs. Ten seconds. So I'm going to call in Artie to hit India right now. And we'll keep holding hotel. We're not going to push up yet. All right, recalling our ADATs to respond to air threats. We're going to have to take those out before we push into India and maybe Echo as well. We have two minutes left. Uh, let's see how we are doing this. And they're attacking Hotel right now. Uh, there's no point holding that. This is not good. Hey, okay, so it looks like more Soviet reinforcements are on the way. Uh, this is not good. We are losing Hotel right now. One of our platoons of Leopards up. Let's see if we can uh, engage and destroy that VDV unit. Maybe stop them from capping it. And let's wait till our reinforcements show up before we move up to push for India again. But before we take India, we need to take uh, Hotel first. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up to cap Hotel as quickly as we can and maybe for our next operation we're gonna have to take india back but look at this they have taken three four of our half of our objectives right now this is not good so our leopards have made it into hotel and we are capping it now i don't know if we have enough time to take back hotel uh we do have one little remnant to, oh yeah he's not gonna last long that's yeah he's falling back right now not good there he goes all right, so we have quickly taken Hotel. Now we got to take Echo and then India. Uh, but right now, Foxshot and Delta are neutral. And so let's, let's quickly move into Echo right now. I know we're being already. Let's get our M19 to respond to that. Let's see where he's hitting from. I can't identify where he's hitting from right now. Uh, but two seconds left. So not too bad. We lost one of our objectives, which is India out of the three and so yeah th this was a tough one against the soviets especially as the canadians we didn't have any american attachments but uh for losses they lost more they lost 98 and 45 dead for us uh and they they definitely took more of a casualty than we did so we not bad not bad for this all right so we are still in stage three and there's one more phase left in this and uh this is going to be difficult uh we're having a hard time already and so what we could do is probably replenish our units. We don't have, uh, yeah, we can't spend more on task force. And so let's let's restore our units, especially our leopards and our mech infantry. And so for a course of action, we can either choose to abandon the mission, which is retreating from the current stage, suffering a major loss, or we can continue defending the key objectives, holding as much as we can. Um, and again, this was a tough one, so I don't know how far or how bad we can you know do on this so you know in a soviet invasion it, it's definitely kind of realistic in a sense all right so as you can see here it's uh, pretty much the same from the last mission that we did and it's a continuation of it and uh we're gonna place some defenses more like obstacles at a hotel 
And so for our plan, what we're going to do is we're going to be holding Hotel and Julia. I think it's okay uh, to not capture India. We're going to try our best to hold off Juliet and Hotel and then also Kilo as our main objective right here. And so we're going to try our best to reinforce these two positions. Let's move our tank back and move him probably uh, right here. And once we engage those targets, we'll get him to fall back at a good position where he has a good eye on hotel. And we'll bring our other leopard platoon up into uh, Juliet to reinforce as well as a reconnaissance unit. Our links up to spot the, I guess, the north uh, northeastern flank. And we do have to be careful because they can come in the south still. And it's we position our artillery just back here. And we are under attack. Yep. And now we're engaging those units. Not too bad. We're doing good. It looks like those are motorized infantry BTRs destroyed. Ooh, more of them coming up right now. One vehicle destroyed. More of them are still rushing up. And yep, platoon destroyed. All right, so two platoons destroyed. Good job from our mech infantry and tanks. Let's get our tanks to fall back on this tree line right here. I have a feeling that they might be attacking up north here. And right now, they're doing a really good job and hammering us down with artillery. I mean, if I were the enemy, I would probably do the same as well, too, if I were to attack. It looks like we spotted some units in the middle right here. I don't know what that is. We're going to hold fire. Oh, yeah, that is a tank right there. Let's get the guys to fall back. They might be attacking Hotel. Yeah, I think that's their next plan. Hopefully our Leopards can engage and flank them right now. Yep, they are attacking from Echo right now. Not the most ideal position, but they're making do of it. Ooh, looks like the HQ element has been destroyed. ADATS is gone. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get you guys into the town instead. Okay, more of them are still coming in. The tanks are doing a real good job in hunting whatever is in the middle. All right, the hotel is not looking good. We just lost our mech infantry there, uh, but we're gonna hold. We're gonna try our best to hold that position just next to hotel. Uh, there are units coming in, and if they're coming in, we'll call in DPICMs, hopefully to delay them. While we were they were distracted i'm gonna cap box shot hopefully to cause a little bit of a distraction and maybe even cap india or delta um i think india might be occupied but we'll see and hold fire just in case and yet more elements coming from the south they might flank us reposition and we only have two more leopards left not good don't know if we can hold them much longer so we are slowly capping Foxtrot. No resistance there. Maybe we'll even cap Delta and then maybe back to India. We'll see. Okay, let's get him to fall back. And we captured Foxtrot. Good job. Let's, let's cap Delta while we're at it. And yep, we lost. We'll tell. Let's on Barrage. All right, so it looks like our leopards are engaging T-64s. Ooh, one tank destroyed. Nice. Good hit. I think they're still searching for us. Ooh, so unfortunately we lost one of our units, our reconnaissance. Uh, but hopefully this can distract them. 
so far leopards on this hill are doing a real good job in concealment and destroying the enemy below hopefully they can keep that up all right right now it's looking quiet but i wanna don't want to jinx it at this point so i'm calling more reinforcements up to reinforce our positions and hopefully we can delay them further so it looks like they actually took back Foxtrot, which is a good delay. Uh, I might actually do that again. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But we did buy some time on our clock. And I'm going to move our tools up on this tree line, as well as our M13s back in the tree to support them in this battle position in this forest right here. Oh, got contacts to our south. Reorient. What's next? And it looks like they're trying to cap Kilo right now. And we do have a leopard emplacement here. Hopefully they can deal with them. One tank destroyed. We also do have some BRDMs with ATs. That's not good. Let's call an arty on that. Looks like this tank platoon is gone. Yeah, I wouldn't want to underestimate these guys. These guys can do damage to us. Oh my gosh, and they're coming towards Juliet right now. Yeah, I don't know if we can hold longer. Fall back. And we got a BTR coming up in Juliet. Hopefully these guys can hold. Eight minutes left trying to trying our best to buy time and there's two tank platoons right up here might call in dpi cms once they get close uh damn it we lost our tank platoon all right calling we have no choice we're gonna have to call that in right now those are t80 bvs Let's just call an arty on that tank platoon. Come on, you guys can do it. How are these guys still alive? Oh, come on. Dude, they just moved away. Oh my gosh, come on. All right, that tank platoon is falling back, but ah, damn, that was a waste. Oh, another tank platoon incoming. Maybe it's just two of them. Uh, yep, just two more of them. I, uh, so far, it's only our grizzly that's holding them right now. We might have to bring our leopards up. And our Tua. Yeah, this, this countdown is a little bit ridiculous right now. And we're going to capture... F God damn it. Uh, we lost Juliet. All right, so the good news is that I moved one of my M13s, Mechapitri, to capture Hotel. Hopefully to kind of spread it out a little bit. And they're going to engage a tank with two. And hopefully they can shoot them in, the, in their asses right now. Okay, we captured Hotel. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, they're falling back. Oh, okay, great. Honestly, playing as the Canadians is, is it's actually quite difficult, especially against the Soviets, and I knew this would happen. All right, tanks move up and uh, cap Juliet, and then I'll get you guys to fall back. Good news is that we captured Hotel. Let's go for Echo, actually. Might have to try our best to delay as much as we can. Five minutes remaining. Do you think we can uh, hold on, chat? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I'm quite 
optimistic about this one. But right now, we'll do what we can to delay. Ah, oh, six platoons. Jeez. Oh, yep. Main force is attacking Kilo. Uh, let's save our DPI CMs. These are pretty light. Oh, jeez. That stupid arty. Okay. I found the enemy arty, and it's right there. Let's call it in. Okay. Six platoons coming up. Uh, yep. Yeah. Two minutes left. I think we can hold them longer. Let's capture Delta right now. See if we can actually get Delta. BRDMs with AT rockets are spotted at objective Kilo, and now our Leopards are going to be engaging them. Nice. One target destroyed. And more things are moving towards Kilo right now. Let's get you guys to move up. And he might be falling back. Yeah. Great. And more of them right there. Oh. Looks like they got air support. Oh, so far okay. Yeah, my ADATs would have been useful here. Jeez. All right, calling in DPIC. I might as well use it since we got only got a minute left. I think we can hold on to this. Okay, don't go. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. There you go. Yeah, run away, guys. Run away. Alright, BDB is engaging our leopards. I'm not sure how you guys are missing your targets. Oh my gosh. Seriously, man. VDV. Holy jeez. Alright, arting these guys. I think we delayed as much as we can. I honestly thought we were gonna lose this battle, but I guess we made it to the end. Although, that last part was a little bit too cheesy for me. It was a little bit frustrating at the end, but I guess we did it. Not too bad. A total of 120 losses and 236. Uh, we did our best to delay as much as we can. Not my greatest um, in regiments, but hey, hopefully you guys were entertained by this because uh, this was tough against the Soviets. All right, guys. So we're back to our screen and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Definitely it wasn't fun for me in the last part. I uh, just being screwed over by the soviets especially as the canadians um but hey hopefully you guys find it entertaining and uh yeah we'll be doing more of this so stay tuned and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts on it as well in the comments and uh make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this subscribe to stay up to date and as always guys i'll see you in my next video